Hi, it's Miss Ann from the Hinsdale Public Library. Um, I just thought I would check in, say hi, see how you guys are doing, let you know we miss you very much. Um, I've been sheltering in place here in Downers Grove with my husband who's working from home and then my 13 year old son who's going to help me with this project today. <laughs> and then my 16 year old son, um, Aiden, and uh, we're doing okay. Everybody's healthy. It's all good. So, um, I just wanted to, I have a little script, sorry. <laughs> um, so I just want to let you know that even though the library is closed, your staff is still working really hard for you at home. So we're uh, reading lots of books, we're making book lists, we're reading book reviews and putting together book carts that we can then order as soon as we're back up and running. Um, and then we're also trying to find ways to engage with you online. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, so I thought for our toddler preschool group, we could do a little craft. We did this for messy art um, out on the patio maybe two years ago in the summer. So maybe you were even there with me. Um, so we're gonna make some soap foam and Emmett, my 13 year old is gonna be our demonstrator. So I will take the phone and he um, will show you how to do it. Um, so let's trade off here. So we already made some blue foam, which is starting to melt-ish or dissipate because we made it a little while ago. But all you need is a tablespoon and you're gonna put two tablespoons of dish soap. Dawn works really well because it makes lots of bubbles. Um, so we're gonna put in two tablespoons of dish soap. Bubble. Oh, oh uh -huh. need a little bubble. So you're doing yellow or orange? Sure, yeah. And so you can make lots of different colors. So you need two tablespoons of dish soap. You need one quarter cup of water. Which we have to get here. And awesome. And then food coloring, which is optional. You could also just have white soap. Um, but we already made blue soap and we thought we would try to mix in some yellow, although it looks kind of red, but we'll see. Let's do a yellow red. Cool. And then, um, then you put your mixer down, and then you put it on the highest speed possible. Oh, on this side, sweetie. Um, and then we let it run for about five minutes, and I will be right back. Okay, we're back. We let it go for about five minutes, and look at all this fluffy foam we've got here. So it's kind of like making a meringue, only it's soap. And so then we're gonna take it off, hopefully, <laughs> the mixer. And for us, we're gonna put it in this bowl here, or in this bin here. Uh, that's so hot and fluffy. And then, it did come out really nice and yellow. Sure didn't seem like it. It's like peeps. It does look like peeps. Okay, so now we've got it here in the bowl. And then if you made a bunch of different colors and a bunch of different rainbow colors, um, you could experiment with mixing them together. We were, Emmett and I were kind of hoping we could get a green going. The blue oh, yeah, is, okay. yeah, the blue is starting to pop a little bit, but you can mix it in and see. So you could put it in a bin, you could put it in separate bowls. If you don't want to get it all over the place, you can maybe put your bathing suits on and go in the bathtub and play in the bathtub and make a big mess. But something super simple that you can do with stuff you already have at home um, to be able to play with and lots of fun. I'm gonna rinse my hands while you do that. <laughs> All right, so um, I hope you have fun with this. I hope it keeps you busy and helps a little boredom buster. I know we're all kind of stuck inside and it's been tricky, but um, hopefully the weather will warm up and we'll be able to get us in our backyards more. Um, so just know that we really miss you, especially our little guys, our story time guys. We really miss you guys a lot, but um, also the grownups that come with them. Uh, that to me is what makes the job so fun and makes us feel like a really tight community is how much everybody um, comes in and says hi. So um, that's our craft for today. Have a great weekend. Everyone stay 
safe and healthy. Stay home. Um, stay home, yes. <laughs> Very important, stay home. Um, and I'll be back with some other videos at some point. Uh, please feel free to say hi to me in the comments and wave. Um, and I'll be so happy to hear from you. And hopefully we'll see you guys, I don't know, a couple weeks maybe. So, all right, bye. Have a great weekend.